Let's evaluate the integral of cosine squared of x. This is quite an important integral that will be uh, used later on. It's important to know how to evaluate it. We're going to need several things to make the evaluation as easy as possible. First, the following trigonometric identity. That is cosine squared of x is equal to 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 2x. Or we can expand this. This is 1 half plus 1 half times cosine of 2x. Second, we're going to need the following trig identity. Sine of 2x is equal to 2 times sine x times cosine x. And we're also going to need the following from calculus 1. That is the integral of cosine of ax. dx is equal to 1 divided by a times sine of ax plus a constant c, as long as the constant a is not equal to 0. Having all these three um, written down, all these three rules and identities, it's now easy to evaluate this integral. First step is to use the first identity and express the integral as, instead of cosine squared of x, 1 half plus 1 half cosine of 2x. So this is really two integrals. The first one is the integral of 1 half dx, and the second one is the integral of 1 half times integral of cosine of 2x. Now clearly the integral of 1 half is 1 half x. Now the third rule right here tells us how to integrate cosine of 2x. a is 2, so this is plus 1 half, then another 1 half that comes from the integration times the sine of 2x. This is equal to 1 half x plus 1 fourth times sine of 2x. We can add a constant here if we want to. It's not a good idea to leave the answer uh, in terms of sine of 2x. Since the original integral uh, had cosine squared of x, we want to leave the answer in terms of sine x or cosine x. And that's where we're going to use this right here, this trick in the metric identity. So this can be rewritten as 1 half x plus 1 fourth. And instead of sine of 2x, we'll replace it with 2 sine x cosine x plus c. And finally, we have our, our answer. That is the integral of cosine squared of x can be expressed as 1 half x plus 1 half times sine x times cosine x plus c. So remember this integral for the future. We're going to need it. For more videos, visit www.mathprepvideos.com.